Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about a key theme for our time, and that is GIS helps. GIS helps. The focus of this video is the theme GIS helps us analyze and understand our world. Putting your points or lines, polygons, imagery, or grids on a map is not the goal. Putting your points, lines, polygons, imagery, or grids is not the goal, folks. What? Yes, I wish to submit to you that putting your data on a map is not the end goal. That's an important step, to be sure. Maps help us understand, but they're tools for a greater goal. The goal is to understand the issue, the problem, the situation better in a deeper, richer way. Maps and the geospatial or geographic perspective help, but the map is always just a stepping stone to a greater goal, understanding and problem solving and making smarter decisions. What I mean by smarter decisions is as follows. Those that take the geographic perspective into account, those that are holistic, but include domain expertise about soil or, or water or energy. Those that build a healthier, happier, safer, and more sustainable community and world. Hence the analysis tools in a GIS, along with you, the GIS analyst, using the spatial data and the GIS tools are so critical here. GIS is not just a bunch of lines and polygons floating around in cyberspace, right folks? They are tied to a geodatabase and they have topology. They know the relationships of, of themselves to things around them. They're increasingly acting as a system of systems in an enterprise environment. They can thus allow us to simultaneously consider the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, the biosphere, the lithosphere, and the anthrosphere, humans, as we make decisions. They allow us to consider the pros and cons in every sphere of every decision that we make. Pretty exciting when you think about the implications. Thus, we minimize making decisions in a vacuum where years later we say, oh, we never thought about that, we never knew that would happen, and maximize decision making that is of positive benefit, ideally to each of these spheres that I mentioned earlier. Now I'm a realist and we all have some complex and difficult decisions and issues that we're facing. People are fallible, and so are the tools and the data. For more about being critical of data, see our Spatial Reserves data blog. But the use of GIS in a decision-making environment, in government, academia, nonprofit, and business, will help more decisions to be made wisely with data. Yes, data-driven decisions. It's not just a buzzword, it's actually solid and it's actually something we need to pay attention to. But also, what I believe is even more important is people-driven decisions with thoughtful sensitivity and level-headedness, with a vision of the future that we want to build. Thus, GIS helps us understand our wonderful, amazing, complex, dynamic world and all that is in it. Thanks.